Hey, what's up everybody? So today is day two of day three of chess day. We're gonna just use our dumbbells today and we're gonna get ripped and we're gonna get stoned and we're gonna be fit together in our awesome adventures on best shape of our lives. All right, let's get started. Oh, by the way, I love you. All right, so we're gonna get ripped on day two of day three. We're gonna do three days straight of chest exercises. So first off, we're gonna need one dumbbell. Go and grab your dumbbell. Remember, even if it's light, kind of like, you know, be careful with the way you move it. All right, here we go. You're just gonna lift like this. Try to focus on your chest muscles rather than your arm muscles. And then we're gonna rest just for one second. I'm gonna throw my gloves on. And make sure you got some uh, water handy nearby. Today will be easy, nice, easy chest workout, and we're gonna get ripped. Uh, pretty soon too, we're gonna do together, you guys can join, we're gonna do a workout series to get our uh, beach bodies, our summer bodies back. And it's gonna be a two week course that we're gonna all do together. So stay tuned for that, it'll be a little mini series in best shape of our lives that we're gonna do together. All right, let's do another set. Remember, always lift with your knees. And here we go. Nice set. And then we're gonna rest for like maybe 30 seconds, but in the meantime, make sure when you're doing it, it's okay to use your arms a little because just like when we did the crunches, remember we used our neck muscles until we built up the ab muscles. That's okay though, but really squeeze your chest together. We're gonna get that dip right there and start to form our chest. Stretch it out a little bit. And after last night's workout, I did just 700 crunches. I didn't do the full thousand. So if you guys want tonight, just do half of what you normally do. And we're gonna just focus all on our chest muscles. Like tonight, I'm gonna do just do 500 crunches real quick. All right, let's do another set. Ready, here we go. And you just cup it like this. And you know, just go up like that. On the chest right there. Nice. I feel like even underneath, right there and in the middle, Kind of works all around your chest area. So how long is this going to take, you might wonder. Well, don't worry about that. Don't worry about how long it's going to take. Worry about just doing it like every day. You know, little by little. Just like a, a garden growing. Just a little bit at a time. You know, not too much water. You know, just enough. It's kind of like with our bodies. But I think it'll water. Take another drink of water. And check out our awesome merch at flyingsouth.com. Our merch is pretty cool, you know, I gotta say. I've been making the designs myself. 
And I'm going to make a whole bunch of different clothes so we all can just wear our awesome adventures gear everywhere we go. And I'm excited. I actually ordered my very first merch item today for myself. And it's an our awesome adventures tank top. So if you guys want, maybe uh, you can order the same one I got and we could have like the same tank top as we'll get into the best shape of our lives. All right, take a couple breaths. Deep breaths, stretch down shoulders, flex your chest a little bit. Try to work on keeping your back straight. We're gonna really start focusing on our back a lot. We're gonna work on, number one, getting your back up against the wall, straight. And you wanna lay down on the ground. And this is all gonna help us with our strength and our power. All right, let's do another set. Okay, we got. Just getting started a little bit here, change it up a little bit. So our workout routine this week, we're going to do uh, three days, chest, a little bit of back, a little bit of legs, a little bit of overall body workout, and then we're going to take a day off. And then we're going to hit it hard on arms. I can't wait to do arms with you guys. And we're going to do three days of arms. So these videos are good videos that you can come back to. And uh, you can throw a little music on, put your own style of music on in the background. Because in these vids here, I don't have any background music. So we can kind of just work out together. You can put on, a, you know, whatever it is you listen to if you want. But make sure you leave this video on. And uh, make sure you guys subscribe if you're not have subscribed already. And go ahead and hit a thumbs up. Give me a like. I always love getting likes and comments from you guys. That's what keeps me going. All right. Now we're going to be lifting the weight single dumbbell up into the air. So grab it with each hand like this. Just lift it up. <clears throat> nice. So there's just one set real quick. And that's right, you heard me right. If you've been doing your thousand crunches a day or your hundred a day, you're gonna do half, drop it down. Uh, for about a week now, we're gonna, we're gonna get back on it. Make sure you get back on the thousand or the hundred. But whatever you're doing, bring it down to half each day. And the reason we're doing that is just to change it up a little bit and start focusing on our chest and our arms. Do one of these things too. Really is worth it. It's like a, a foam back roller. And we can do some uh, ab workouts with it. We'll stretch our backs. Oh. Yeah, my youngest son, he just picked himself one up actually on Amazon. And it came like that. It was like a day later, he got his uh, back roller. So it's fun seeing uh, him build up his uh, his weights and stuff. He has more fitness uh, stuff than me. But, I mean, I just have a set of dumbbells and a, 
and a pair of slides we got right here. These are awesome, by the way. Adidas, Adelite slides. I love them. I play basketball in them, ride bikes in them, um, play with my kids. I've been wearing them like as my daily shoes, working out with you guys. Um, really comfortable. You guys should grab a pair for sure. Stretch out a little bit. Grab a little bit. All right, let's lift it up again. Here we go. Nice, easy little set. Uh, yeah, it's been fun. I've been uh, working out with my sons. They're uh, 14 and almost 16 years old. So it's a pretty fun time as a father, you know, bonding with, uh, you know, my kids. And I also have beautiful daughters that will one day be working out with me also. And, uh, you know, that'll be a good moment when we're all together as a family, getting into the best shape of our lives. And we just gotta keep on believing Believe on impossible. Put the M in quotes. Believe impossible. Believe about impossible things. But like I said, I leave the I am in quotes because it is believe in possible things. You know, don't think that things are impossible. Always leave the M in the quotes right there. Believe in impossible things. Because impossible things happen every day. Look at us. Here we are together, hanging out, working out. Anything is possible on our awesome adventures. All right, let's keep going. Ah. Ah, nice little set of 10, and we're doing sets of 10. I mean, uh, 10 reps rather. And uh, sets of three to four is what I mean. <sighs> oh. Yeah, my sons, uh, they're also into boxing. So we have a lot of fun boxing and stuff when they're here. And uh, yeah, it's really fun boxing, hard boxing. All right, take another sip of water. Hope you guys have been working out at least a few times a week. Um, or when you're not hanging out, working out right here with me. Hope that you're enjoying your life and doing good. All right, go ahead and bend over, touch your toes. Hold that for like 10 seconds. Or go ahead and stretch out a different muscle. And up in the air. And again, don't time out in between each set. You know, just hang out with me for a minute in between sets. You know, maybe 30 seconds or a minute. But, you know, don't just look at the clock and be precise like you see people in the gym. See them looking up, staring at the clock for 60 seconds, trying to get that exact second. Ah, we don't want our muscles to know what's going on, really. All right, so what should we do next? Well, I say we move to the ground. 
You guys ready? We're gonna do some uh, dumbbell chest presses. All right, we're just gonna pretend like we're hanging out together, holding on to that bar, pushing up. All right, here we go. Oh. All right, so we're gonna do bench presses basically. So just hold your hands like you're holding onto a bar and you're pressing it up and pretend I'm up spotting you right behind you. And I got your back and focus on uh, your breathing, okay? Grab your weights. All right, here we go. Make sure you hold them real steady as you go back so we keep our body in perfect position and stuff. All right, here we go. Go on back like this. Hold it just like you're holding the bar. 10 reps. Good set. Take a good couple breaths. And just remember everything's gonna be all right. All right, you guys ready for another set? Here we go. Good job. Good set. There you guys are. Yeah, nice set. All right, so now we're gonna do what I like to call the Viking press. All right, so we're gonna do uh, three sets, 10 reps each. second ago, but I like to call them Viking flies, dumbbell Viking flies. So it's like, uh, yeah, just a little bit different than a, a regular fly. I started doing this because of my shoulder, you know, kind of helped me uh, build up some smaller muscles until I could start doing the flies. But I like them. This is one of my favorites. Feel 
few short breaths. All right, here we go. You want to get your weights in the proper position. set of these. You guys are doing a really good job. No matter uh, you know how small the weights or how heavy a weights that you have, you know it doesn't matter. Things that you uh, you know do what your body can do each day, and try to make sure you don't go more than like two days without working out, because like you know then you're gonna find that you know you slip out of the routine. You know, so make sure you only take, you know, one or two days off. And if you're really dedicated, if you're working towards a goal, uh, whatever it may be, you know, then you need to be at it every day. You know, no days off. You know, on your days off, you need to be doing those thousand crunches. You need to be running, you know, doing everything you can. You know, me right now, I don't have any real goal. I'm just like working out with you guys, you know. So, I'm more in like a long-term kind of goal right now. But I'm going to be ripped and stoned by summer. And it's uh, coming up on February. So... <sighs> Alright, we're going to stand up a second. And we're going to grab this weight and lift it into the air again. Now we're going to do some uh, calf raises with the dumbbells like that. Grab your uh, heaviest set of dumbbells that you can lift 10 times. And here we go. Also, take a look at my uh, breathing session. It's a guided breathing session, and it'll bring you a lot of power, a lot of peace, happiness, help you get through happy times, sad times, good times, bad times, awesome times, and it'll help you feel awesome. It really will. And it's the Wim Hof method, the Iceman method which I don't really follow any other people at all. But recently I uh, had these slides because my other shoes I got, they gave me these corns on my feet because I'm pretty active. And now like I'm scared to wear shoes again, so I just got these slides. But um, I seen this guy, you know, and he, uh, he climbs the top of Everest, you know, barefoot. 
He doesn't even need shoes, you know? So just remember that, you know, I used to always be like, I need some Nike Air Max, like the, you know, $200 shoes, you know, to go to the nicest gyms, you know, in LA and Vegas and, uh, you know, New York, you know, and Iowa where I live too. Everywhere, you know, I just always wanted the, the nicest stuff, you know, but no, nah, I like, I like this guy's method. Check it out. My son introduced me to his uh, breathing technique and I did it with him for the first time. So I really love the technique and I shared it with you in my own way. And you guys should check out his video too, because he's the master of this technique. And I think you guys could learn a lot from this guy. And if you do do the, uh, the breathing session, just know that it's safe and it's a really good method that's been done by a lot of people. And it's, uh, you just need to have trust in your own body when you do it. But yeah, check it out. I did a, a couple vids of it already. So let me know what you guys think. <laughs> We're gonna bring it back down to the ground, ready? But I'm gonna get a pair of, uh, uh, probably some Air Max. I wanna get some of those sometime. After we get, all of us get in really good shape together, I'm gonna, you know, give myself like little treats, you know? Like uh, I'm gonna grab some shoes, you know? And uh, some more weights and stuff. But first, we're gonna get all the way there maybe two weeks three weeks yeah and we'll be super super stoned are right, you ready chest flies here we go Yeah, you know it. This is the Arnold Schwarzenegger technique right here. This is one of his favorite workouts back when he was lifting weights a lot and probably now too. And this really helps your chest, you know, get really ripped. And I'm happy to do these now, you know, that I've been strengthening up my shoulder, you know, a little motorcycle crash, you know. So it feels good, you know, to be doing this again, you know, so. I mean, for years, I played, like, sports left-handed. And uh, so it feels really good to, you know, be using my right again, you know. So, you know, this workout method is really beneficial, um, no matter what shape you're in. So just keep going at it every day. Here we go. Let's do another set of these. said <sighs> yeah I learned uh, a lot of my workouts kind of started from when I first moved out to New York City back when I was 18 years old I uh, met a lot of guys there at different gyms that I learned techniques from but I uh, forgot what I was gonna say with the story I think I need a drink of water if you feel short of breath or anything you should probably grab some of our Awesome Adventures merch because we have these really cool water bottles that you should check out. Well, let me grab uh, some water. Whew. Ah, uh, 
Take a couple sips of water, relax a little. Oh yeah. See, all it took was a little water to make me remember. So yeah, I did a uh, crunch commercial. That was a long time ago. Like I was like 19 or 20 or something. And it was a crunch commercial. It was a small part on their uh, internet website. And I was like the trainer guy, I had to memorize these lines like real quick, but uh, that was pretty fun. It was uh, just a little gig, I like, got paid 500 bucks for like, you know, a quick little hour of work. Cause it wasn't like a TV commercial, you know? but um, yeah, I used to go to Chelsea Pierce Sports Center out in New York City. I've been to the Reebok gym. Um, used to work out at like Gold's gym out in LA or over by Oxnard too, and uh, Ventura. And uh, yeah, I've worked out a lot of different gyms, but you know, just this is all you need right here, you know? And if you really want to, um, you can go back to day one. Like um, we're up in the eighties somewhere now, but you know, the first 70 some days or 80 days is consecutive every day. I worked out with you guys every single day. So if you want, you can go back to day one and work out with me every day, you know, to get caught up to where we are today. Um, otherwise you can just join in now and work out too. It's not like I'm in that great of shape or anything. You can't catch up, yeah. <laughs> but I feel a lot better from uh, day one to now. You know, got some hair now and stuff coming in. You know, it feels pretty good. All right, let's do another set. Here we go. Stretch out your back a little. Try to get your whole back to the ground. Release all the bad. Bring in all the new. Release all the bad tension. And now we're going to do some more chest flies here, all right? Actually joined uh, Screen Actors Guild back in uh, 1999, you know, so I was an actor out in New York. So, you know, it was pretty cool. I got to meet a lot of uh, sports people and stuff, you know, doing different like random commercials. It was a Reebok commercial with Ray Lewis and we we're hanging out, you know, and he was a really nice guy. And, you know, the, you meet people in life where you bond with. You know, me and him was just chilling, hanging out. He was like educating me about uh, water. You know, tell me how important it was to drink a lot of water, you know? And it wasn't until many years later, you know, when I understood what this guy, you know, was talking about, because I was pretty young back then. But he played uh, for the Baltimore Ravens. So you guys know a little bit about uh, football. But anyway, let's do a, another set here. <laughs> Here's a funny uh, little tidbit too. I was a, a photo double for uh, Boomerize Eisen in a Wiz commercial. So they like, sprayed a uh, hairspray all up in my hair, made me look like uh, I had gray hair. And I rode around in a, a cab with an elf in New York City. Uh, that was an interesting day at work. But anyway, let's keep going.
Yes, you are powerful. You can do it. All right. Yeah, that was, I think probably one of the funnest things was doing uh, sports. Like one day I got to play hockey in Madison Square Garden. I was like one of five guys on the fresh ice. The Zamboni machine went over the ice right there. And I got to make the score, you know, the winning shot, the MasterCard Visa commercial. And uh, that was really fun. And it was fun doing different things like that, different like sports and stuff. So, you know, in life, you know, stay motivated, keep doing sports, you know. You know, stay active and, you know, things you liked when you was younger, you know. Try to do that stuff as you get older. And build hobbies, you know. You know, instead of doing, you know, bad things in life, do good things. It brought you joy when you were young. You know, that's what we really, I think, you know, we need to focus on. You know, get a bicycle, you know. My girl and me, we're always riding our bicycles and we love it. It's so fun. And I ride with my sons too. We love riding our bikes. You know, it's super cool. Um, I want to have some more awesome adventures up in uh, Lake Tahoe, you know, on bicycle riding. Uh, that sounds really fun to me, riding around the lake on a bike. But, you know, do things that you liked when you was a kid for your cardio, you know. Rather than sitting in a gym, running on a treadmill, you know, find something that you can sustain. Because your gym, you know, geez, I've been to 100 gyms probably, you know, in 10 different states. Should have just, uh, you know, got a set of dumbbells and done this nice good core workout you know that's all we need and if you still go to the gym that's cool but keep doing this workout like every day and then um have this be your core workout that you do every day and then add the gym for fun you know uh play basketball play volleyball go running go swimming start doing something I know you guys all did something when he was younger. Played dolls, maybe. I was like G.I. Joe. That was fun. Hot Wheels. That's my shit right there. Nice. I like uh, racket sports also, like uh, tennis, I love playing. And uh, racquetball is hilarious. Actually, uh, one of the things I've won in my life, well, I won um, for the glitter beard contest, guys. Pretty cool, actually. I won $150 for a contest. I won the best pick at a company I work for. Um, so that was pretty exciting. But I also, uh, when I was younger, I won a uh, racquetball uh, trophy, you know, first place in a racquetball championship. You know, it's a fun game. It's like, you, know, you laugh your butt off, you know, playing. You know, you're in this room with walls and a ceiling, you're hitting the ball, it's going all over the place, you know. Try that sometime if you get the chance. Whew. And I love basketball. I play a lot of basketball. My uh, youngest son, Torin, you know, he loves basketball. He's really good. You know, he's really good on the three-point line, too. Um, but football's fun, too. We like throwing the football around. All right, you guys ready? Uh, baseball's fun, too. I always like playing baseball, but, you know, I got to have a few people together to get that going. Let's do some more flies. Here we go.
nice. Oh yeah, sne- uh, s- s- bleh, uh, snowboarding and uh, skiing. I was gonna say skiing first. Uh, skiing and snowboarding. That's fun too. I skied first and then I become a snowboarder. When I was in seventh grade, I got my first like real snowboard. But I haven't been in a little while. I used to have a couple season passes when I lived in LA, you know, from Mountain High. And uh, been to Snowmass, that was awesome. Mammoth, Mountain High. Um, and then back home in Iowa, Illinois, uh, you got Snowstar and Sundown, you know, so I used to go there. And uh, my bapa, my grandpa, he used to live right by uh, Sundown. So I was able to go there a lot. But uh, yeah, do do some things like that. All right, how many of these uh, are we gonna do? We're just gonna keep doing them. Let's do another set. Take a few good breaths. Now just take a quick moment, close your eyes and breathe, okay? And with the good, now with the bad. Make it a circular motion. Into your gut, through your chest. Feel that in a circular motion like that. Keep your uh, shoulders back. And I'll do that 10 times. Give it all you got. Two more. Now stretch out your arms. Know that you are awesome. You are beautiful. And you have a beautiful heart. No matter what stuff you've been through, no matter where you've been in this life, you have a good heart. Start living by your heart. Forget about making money. Forget about doing other things. Just follow your heart. Don't listen to your brain. Just follow your heart. And with the good, out with the bad. All right, now we're gonna grab these weights and we're gonna do another set. And we're going to feel that power. And we're going to know that whatever we're doing this for right now, whatever reason we're working out for, you know, it's got to be some reason in our hearts we're doing it, you know. So reach into your heart right now for this set. Ready?
Nice, good set. I knew you had it in you. Now just take a few deep breaths. Try to feel your whole body get into alignment. And know that, you know what, you are awesome, you know, no matter what people say about you, you are a good person. You know, think back to who you were when you were younger too, and find that, uh, that inner soul that you are, that you have that's been. Sometimes your soul gets clouded with smoke and different things, you know, all around it in life. Clear all that, let it go, clear all that, let go of all that, get rid of it, let it out. Even if you can just clear it a little bit, you know, to find that little piece that is inside you that you need to do in your life, you know, whether it be write a book, whether it be spend more time with your kids, be better to your wife or your husband, you know, be better to yourself, you know, maybe get a different job, you know, that you want to follow your heart and do, you know. And remember, it's uh, never too late, you know? You gotta keep believing in impossible. Believe in impossible. I believe in impossible. Do you believe impossible? Remember, make sure the M is up in the quotes right there. Because everything is possible. And we will get in the best shape of our lives. And it's going to be in a few weeks, you know? We're going to do this workout today, another workout tomorrow. We'll have a little day off. All right, ready? Nice and easy. Take a few breaths. Hold it. Feel your body. Feel the muscles in your body. I know you feel your muscles in there. Know that you are building muscles. You are losing fat. You are getting more and more awesome every day. <sighs> Release that breath now. Let it all out, let your breathing come back to normal. And now we're gonna do another set and let's give it all we got in this set, you guys. All right, here we go. Collect yourself. Get a good grip right there. Get all your muscles in place. Nice and slow. Earn it. Take a nice, big, deep breath.
remember, right when you feel like giving up, that's the moment you're about to win. Never give up. Let's keep going. Let's keep going and having our awesome adventures. All right. Let's see. Um, we're actually going to do one more little workout. We're going to do, uh, we had to really step it up with the all be back workout right there. But uh, yeah, now we're going to do just a few shoulder shrugs and then we're going to call it a wrap. So we're gonna do three sets of shoulder shrugs and then get in those crunches. You know, maybe uh, we ought to do them real quick. You know, we're only doing half as many tonight after this workout. I'm gonna do the first couple with you and then I'm gonna fade the video out and you're gonna do the rest. I'm gonna trust you to do it. And you only gotta do half as many, all right? And then we'll take a shower, hot bath, cold bath. Oh yeah, try that too. Change it up a little bit. Take that hot shower and then make it cold, you know? Try the Iceman method. Uh, my son, my youngest son and me, we love doing the Iceman method showers. So give it a shot. A few deep breaths. Just a couple shoulder shrugs, so grab your weights. And tonight I'm just doing a nice, easy 500 crunches real quick. Nice and easy. You know, and remember, it's not that hard. It really isn't. All right, here we go. So just a couple shoulder shrugs here to end our evening off. All right, we'll start off. Uh, We'll go right about here. Here we go. try the breathing technique method. I think you guys will really like it. And you can try it in the morning, in the daytime, in the evening, and give it a shot. I think it'll bring you a, a lot of power and strength. All right, now we're gonna focus on, um, when you bring it up, really focus on your, uh, right up here. Squeezing that area right there. Take this up. Uh, see if I got a pump going or not. Uh, feeling pretty good. Uh, definitely getting there. <laughs> You guys hear Orion, my parent? <laughs> You're awesome, Orion. She just, uh, she's been chilling, listening to me this whole time, but she just said, work, work, work. The Rihanna Drake song. It's uh, one of her favorite songs. <sighs> That's right though, we gotta work, 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 correct? <sighs> uh, check out Orion's videos too. We're gonna be putting a lot of new videos up of Ryan. Oh, he's so sweet, Ryan. All right, here we go. Ah. <laughs> She's gonna <to> smoke. <laughs> Good. Ah. Hey, babe. 
Kim, what's up, baby? I love you. Yeah, definitely check out all of Orion's awesome videos. Uh, my parrot is so awesome, she has her own children's book series. So check that out, Orion the Star. Yeah, type my name in. Jamie Ski, S-K-E-I-E. -E. Type it into uh, Amazon or Walmart, wherever you like to shop for your books. <sighs> FlyingSouth.com. And check out my Amazon author page, amazon.com slash author slash Jamie Ski. I'd really be honored if you check out my books. And I just love it when I, uh, you know, hear you guys' feedback and stuff. It's really awesome. I love you guys. And remember, we're gonna do those crunches right now, okay? Do half of what you normally do. And then take a nice shower or bath. 